So it's time for the clay to dry. Um, so what you saw was just the process of me making the clay so that I could let it dry and it would end up being the, you know, the clay that we all know and the, that we can mold. Um, this process I do because I bought it as a powder basically and so I have to add the water in order to make it clay. <laughs> um, I know that they sell the pre-made clay. I should have bought that one, but I don't know why I didn't. I think that was the only one that I had access to or that I knew about at the moment when I started doing ceramics. So that's the one that I bought. And um, yeah, so I've already done some just to make sure. <laughs> I've already made uh, couple samples to just, just figure out how much water I have to add in it but I mostly do everything without having the exact proportions I just know it has to have enough water that it is solid enough for you to mold it but not that much that it will be hard for you to mold it and not that little so that it won't be like if, if, if it has too little water it will just crack uh, and it's not difficult it might look challenging, it is a bit messy, but it's not difficult at all. Um, and I guess I'm honestly going to buy the pre-made clay once I finish this one, but it's like a big, you know, <laughs> sack of powder for clay, so it will take a, a bit. Or maybe I will just buy it and I will use that one whenever I need extra clay, I don't know. But yeah, so yeah, I just turn on the fan and just make sure to be looking how dry it's getting so that it doesn't over dry um, and yeah that's the whole process of it <laughs> and when it's and once it's dry it is time for us to work with it so yeah I'm pretty happy with the way it came out I think I, I think I think it took a lot less time than the first time I tried 
Um, and yeah, so let's just hope that it gets faster and faster from here on. So I'm recording this with my iPad. I don't know how great it's going to come out, but anyway, don't look at my <laughs> stuff in here. Uh, but yeah, I just wanted to show you, where's the camera? I can't, where's the, here. Yeah, I just wanted to show you uh, what it looked like once the clay was dry enough for me to use. But I also wanted to share with you, uh, so this is the, piece of wood that I work on. Um, I mean, it's not that big, but because I don't really have in mind doing like really large, big pieces, um, it's not a huge problem. So this one's so good. And it's actually new. Ugh, and it kind of smells really weird. I don't know. Is that a good thing? It really does smell very strange. <laughs> I don't know. So that's where I work. And I also have like, um, these uh, pieces of cloth that I use just to keep everything clean and so oh my god sorry that was my phone and so this is the clay this is the clay that I have been working with I'm sorry about that <laughs> so this is the the clay that I've been working with oh my god hold on a second Okay, I'm back. Um, so uh, this is the clay that I have been working with. So the one that's at the bottom is sort of like the old clay, but it's actually great clay. It's maybe a little bit thicker than I would want it to be, but it's just a matter of adding a bit of water into it and just letting it rest for a bit. But I wanted to show you the clay that I worked on yesterday. So I left. I probably put it to dry for like a couple hours and then I and then I just sort of like saved, saved it, put it away. Um, so this is the clay. So it's a lot more malleable. Of course, I still need to like do this for a bit so that I can make sure that it is um, you know malleable enough and whatnot but it it looks quite okay to me so it's it's actually uh great i probably would leave it just a little bit more to dry so that it is not as malleable because it's actually pretty easy to you know and if i'm working on a piece and by mistake i like hit it or something it's probably going to show <laughs> as you can see in there uh, sorry, it's really weird. So the camera's over here, but I'm used to just like, <laughs> anyway. So yeah, this is the clay, basically. And I think that I'm probably going to work on a couple pieces, if not just one, and then another day work on another one, because I actually started doing this quite late. I had other things to do in the morning, but yeah. So that's what I'm going to be doing and yeah so let's see how it goes
so this is what is up right now um, I've already attached the little ear to the body of the cup oh well, I guess the mug and yeah we just have to wait for it to dry a little bit so that I can um, maybe put a bit of reinforcement on it so that it won't break but it is it is already attached this is how it looks I think it came out slightly <laughs> longer than this one but it's okay I mean it is handmade fully handmade and that's the idea just to create pieces that are unique because they are made either you know one time or also because they vary depending on like which piece because they were made by hand I don't know so <laughs> yeah um, uh, yeah so this is how it looks I will wait for a couple minutes for it to dry a bit and then I will add some reinforcement to it just a bit more clay to it to make it stronger and then that's a wrap up we just need to wait for it to dry and then we can take it to the kiln to be fired so I finally picked it up <laughs> I'm really happy with the way it came out um, I did put the little tomboy club little logo on the bottom um, and I'll probably stick with this for a while it's very simple you know but <laughs> and yeah I was originally going to paint this in a grid form so it was gonna be a grid like a red grid no sorry not a grid it was going to be checkered um, just to be a little companion to the grid one that I've already uh, made which is the picnic mug but it came out a bit tad smaller um, than the picnic one so I would really love to have a companion to the picnic one that is you know preferably the same size so I'm probably gonna use this one uh, and I'm gonna put another design on it so it's gonna be separate from the picnic mug ones um, something cute I was thinking something on the inside of it so that when you finish drinking whatever you're drinking you can see that cute little drawing uh, cute little drawing <laughs> and then like some cute other like doodles on the outside yeah it's you know you can compare I mean my hands are pretty small I think I don't know I think I have small hands but maybe I'm not I don't but you know so just so you can <laughs> see <laughs> Uh, but yeah, I still think it's a good size, looks cute, I'm gonna try my best to make it look really cute and yeah, it'll probably also be available on my shop once I update the shop. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's it, okay, so let's go.
again. So finally I went and picked up the final pieces that I showed you in this video. And I already showed you the first ones I did, which are these ones. But I thought that I would also obviously show you the ones that I that you saw me doing. So this is the first one. Um, I guess this one is to hold it with your left hand if when you drink it you want this little face to be looking at you. And it is a red and pink mug. This part was supposed to be um, lilac. And I mean, I painted it. You saw me paint it. But for some reason the color isn't sticking. However, it still looks really cute. Um, you can see a little tint of color in there, but it mostly looks white regardless of. I really love the way the inside of the mug came out and the faces as well. So this is one of them. I hope the camera is focusing. So the next piece is this cute tray that has um, flowers all around it with these little doodle stars, whatever they are. <laughs> this one seemed that it was about to burn in here a bit, but it didn't. So it just kind of looks like a pale red. But you know, I, it, it doesn't bother me. It looks really cute. The inside drawing I loved so much. Um, and yeah, it's just a cute little tray that I have. And the last one, right, is uh, this small bowl. This is the bowl that I showed on my stories that had sort of gotten fractured. Um, I knew that it was going to get fractured because it was very very slim and it al you could already see the cracks. Uh, but I still decided to go ahead and finish the piece because I really love the way it came out. This was actually made by my boyfriend as well as this other uh, little tray or plates. Um, but yeah, I decided that I was going to fire it anyways and I was going to paint it and I really love the way it came out, you know, minus that little fracture uh, and inside you, it has little cracks as well, but it's actually really strong, like it's not about to be broken or anything like that. It's not gonna break, it's just this is the way that it ended up uh, staying. I don't know if this particular piece is going to be on the shop. I'm still deciding about it. But, you know, if it is, I will probably put it with a discount. I really want all of my pieces to find a home. Um, and if I finished it, I would keep it and find a use for it. Or I would probably sell it to someone who would appreciate it and really love it for what it is. I do think that it gives it a little... A, a, I do think that it gives it a bit of character uh, and I don't mind, certainly. So I might put it on the shop and if it doesn't sell, I will just be glad to keep it as well. And yeah, those are my pieces, the ones that I worked for in this video. This is my very first ceramics batch and I am very happy to be opening my shop with these um, pieces. I hope that I get to do that very soon and yeah, so you know. Uh, I mean, if you're watching this video, they might as well already be on the shop. Although, I don't know, a couple of things have been happening that have uh, kept me from opening the shop. But it will be open soon and you will be able to find these pieces. So, thank you so much for watching. Oh, did you hear that? Anyway, thank you so much for watching uh, this video and I hope you have a wonderful day.